Hi, hi, this is Doc Mountain, and I welcome you to my YouTube channel. In our today's video, we're going to look at how you can determine the circumference of a latitude. So, how do you do that? Let's look at this example. Calculate the circumference of the following latitudes, taking pi to be 3.142, and the radius of the earth, denoted by the capital letter R, to be 6,370 kilometers and 3,437 nanometers. So the radius of the Earth in nanometers has that value. In kilometers has that value. The question is, how do you determine the radius of the latitude? Okay, so this is one of the latitudes. That is the other latitude. So now how do you determine their circumferences? So, to determine the circumference of any given latitude, we use the formula. Circumference is equal to 2 pi r. But remember in the previous lesson, we learned that the radius of a latitude is given by the radius of the f cos theta. So, now what I will do is I will actually replace this small letter r with the value of the small letter r. Okay, so that is the radius of the latitude. So circumference is equal to 2 pi. I'm bringing that r cos theta. So now if you want to determine the circumference of any latitude, you have to make use of that. So now in this case, theta, that's the one which is here, denoted by that Greek letter. It denotes an angle. So that's the angle and that's the latitude. That's the one we'll be writing here. And then pi has been given in the leading statement as 3.142. Then if they say determine the, 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 the radius of the latitude in kilometers, we'll make use of this value here. They say determine the radius of the latitude in nautical miles. We'll make use of that value. So now let's do this in kilometers. So the circumference is equal to 2 times pi. That's 3.142. Then the radius of the earth in kilometers is 63, 70. And then we punch cos theta is actually 50 degrees. So now let's find the answer. So now that would be 2 times... 3.142 times 63.70, then cos 50. So now what I've found is actually 25730.19665. We round off this one to two decimal places. This one will be increased by one and become a 10, then this one will be a 2. All these will become insignificant because they will become zeros. So that's in kilometers. How about the second one? We determine the radius of this latitude in nautical miles. So it would be circumference is equal to 2 pi, that's 3.142. Then the radius will be this one, huh? 3437. And then cos the same uh, angle which is 50 so circumference will be let's punch in that 2 times 3.142 times 3437 cos 50 so what i found is 1382.996 this one will be increased so circumference will be 13882.0. And uh, if we round this, uh, we round it off to two decimal pluses, this will be a 10, 10, so that will become a 3 not commands. That's how we go about this, just for the sake of enculturation, so that you, you reach a point where you can do things on your own. Let's see if you can do that one. Uh, yeah, you try out that one and then drop me the answers. Don't you make conclusions that when you punch cos zero, you're going to find 
the answer zero. It's not. Give it a shot and then you give me a feedback. Thank you so much for watching. This is your friend Nagabra, bringing math to your doorstep free of charge. Make sure that you support the channel by just subscribing or following my page on Facebook. Thank you so much. Stay blessed.